Assalamu salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We have a beautiful hadith that has been collected in the Sahih of Imam Bukhari, rahimahullah. May Allah have mercy on him. And this hadith is reported on the authority of the illustrious companion Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu wa ardahu. May Allah be pleased with him. He narrates for us an incident that occurred during the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu in which he states that a man once came to the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam and said, advise me, awsani, grant me advice, O Messenger of Allah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam looked at him and said, la taghdab, do not become angry and furious. The man the companion responded, What other advice do you have for me? The Prophet ﷺ said, لا تغضب, Do not become angry and furious. The man, recognizing that perhaps he has an anger issue, accepted it and asked, What else, O Messenger of Allah, do you advise me? And the Prophet ﷺ said, لا تغضب, do not become angry. Every time the man asked, the Prophet responded in the same manner. La taghdab, la taghdab, la taghdab. Do not become angry, do not become angry, do not become angry. My dear brothers and sisters, what can we benefit from this hadith in this blessed month of Ramadan? We know that as we are fasting, that there are things that can break the fast. And the Prophet ﷺ has told us, that if someone comes and is irritating and is bothering us, that we should say to them, Ana sa'im, I am fasting, to remind them and to remind ourselves that we should not be engaged in too much emotion of anger and yelling and screaming. Perhaps we will say something which will cause us to lose a piece of the reward of our fast. However, there are moments in which we have a right to be angry. When Islam is being insulted, when Allah is being insulted, when people are attacking the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, with evil and harsh words, this indeed should get us angry. When anyone tries to harm our parents, our elders, or tries to abuse any youth, any child, this should get us upset and angry. Whenever we see corruption spreading, indeed the Muslim should be angry. So how do we balance the advice of the Prophet والسلام, with those moments in which we have a right to be angry? My dear brothers and sisters, each and every one of us has a mind. And we know and understand that there are moments in which anger is justified. However, the anger that the Prophet والسلام, is speaking about is general anger. There are those who are always irritable, always angry and short-tempered. They have no patience with their children. They have no patience with their spouses. They have no patience with the people around them. These individuals, if we find that we are from among them, we should do those things which will help to calm us down. From among them, we can seek protection in Allah from the shaytan with the words, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ rajim." But also, as the Prophet mentioned, if we are standing, we should sit. If we are sitting, we should lay down. One can drink water or even make wudu to calm him or herself. Remember that becoming angry is a way in which the shaitan incites us through acts of obedience. So we have to make sure that we are always seeking the protection on Allah from the shaitan. As our mother Safiya bint Huyay mentioned, the Prophet والسلام, said, Inna shaytana yajri min ibn adama majarad dami, that certainly the shaytan runs through the veins of the children of Adam like the blood in his veins. So we ask Allah to protect us from the shaytan and from becoming angry unnecessarily. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Thank you.